Villa without the leading goal scorer Steve Kirk, who failed a fitness test this morning. And he's replaced by the former Clydebank player David Shanks, who's more renowned for his defensive qualities. Dave McCabe joins Paul Kinnear to make up a very pacey striking partnership. And they'll be depending on the midfield craft of the former Rangers star Bobby Russell. He's now 31 years old, but he retains the deftness of touch which served his former club so well for so long. And not surprisingly, the Rangers are unchanged from the side which beat Celtic in midweek, with Keith Drinkle and Mark Walters together again up front, looking to capitalise and service from a very powerful midfield of the two Fergusons, Wilkins and Brown. And it's the form of young Derek Ferguson in the last couple of matches which encouraged the Ibrox faithful so much. And he'll be looking once again to make a midfield place his own with another good performance this afternoon. For referee Brian McGinley supervising a change of ends for the sides. And he's making a very major impact since his return to a top class referee. He leads the refereeing table with the markings so far this season to be resuming what was a very impressive career before his unfortunate absence for nearly two years. This is Munro. Walker's making a run, but Craig Patterson cuts it off. Former Rangers centre-half, Patterson. Now John Brown. Stevens coming from that deep position on the right. Well tackled by Boyd. Back with Derek Ferguson. Patterson nods it away. Round to Walters. Too high for Ian Ferguson. Derek Ferguson running it down. There's Gary Stevens. Well challenged by Boyd. And this is O'Neill on the break for Malone. Bobby Russell on the right. And again, Rangers have possession. Crunching tackle from Wishart. Monroe's long ball looking for Ian Ferguson. Putting it back to Stevens. to wait play on. Kinnear's header, here's Russell, missing it out, and it's Derek Ferguson who stores on to the midfield, he's taken out of the play late by Shanks. Well, David Shanks will be in trouble for that. Acknowledging the incident to the referee, Brian McGinley, to see why. Here's Derek Ferguson, now just look how composed he is on the ball, turning the pass inside, then getting caught late by Shanks. Taking on McAdam for the byline. 
supported well by Russell and Shanks coming at the far post well first real threat in the match from Motherwell and David Shanks making a lot of ground on the end of that Kinnaird set it up for Russell the cross came over up went Shanks but he couldn't direct the header goal once this is Ray Wilkins oh, Walters Pass forcing Stevens to stop his run. Drinko comes in. Kevin Drinko the Rangers. The pressure pays off in the end. 21 minutes into the first half. Drinko getting his ninth goal of the season. And you'll see here, I'm sure, a misunderstanding in the middle of the defence. Locked in by Stevens. Two Motherwell defenders leaving it to each other, Pattis and McCart. Trinkle solved the problem with a diving header, and Rangers go in front. <laughs> the fans very happy once again. Mr. McCabe is onside this time. Except there was a major blow to Motherwell after coping defensively with that early onslaught. Carth again is in the wars. He has to take a boot in the stomach. It was Walters who was involved, although I don't think there's any intent here. Walters very high with a challenge, nevertheless, and that's what caught Chris McCart. Chris McCart recovers. He had to be winded by that challenge. Another well, free kick taken by Russell. And it's McKay for the header. Good move that from Motherwell. Gave still to break his duck as a Motherwell player and came very close on that occasion. With David Shanks who made it possible to head it on. McCabe angling that beyond Walker, but the keeper did well. One real threat to Nicky Walker from Motherwell, a header from Dave McCabe. But there's been one way traffic that apart. Russell lofting it forward, and there's Stevens side for Rangers and the half-time whistle goes Rangers going off with the lead provided by Kevin Trinkle it came in the 21st minute it was Gary Steven who sent over the cross you can see Craig Patterson and Chris McCart left it to each other Trinkle died between them to nod a home the only goal of a first half dominated by Rangers it's Motherwell nil Rangers won Trinkle and Walter start the second half for Rangers. And Motherwell undoubtedly with a major task ahead to turn the tide, which flowed throughout that first half towards Alistair Maxwell. The vital breakthrough came from Kevin Trinkle, and now Motherwell have to find a way to pierce the Rangers defence. It didn't appear very likely in the first half, and Rangers, I'm sure, will be anxious to get the second goal which would surely tie the match up but Motherwell certainly don't lack fighting spirit that's for sure here's Paul Kinnear and there's a chance for Motherwell it's Fraser Wishart Fraser Wishart with his first goal of the season for Motherwell and it's the Motherwell supporters this time who go wild right out of the ball coming in, Walker had no chance, and Motherwell are back on level 10. Fraser Wishart hasn't scored all season. 
Brandon certainly not went out for goal scoring. He made a lot of ground here on the end of that cross. But another one back in the match. He's now coming from the Motherwell fans. Okay, getting in behind Terry Butcher. Taking on Butcher for the byline, and that's well saved by Walker. Well, that was just a glimpse of the explosive pace of David McCabe. But just look how he takes on a top class defender, sprinting to the byline, and that's excellent goalkeeping from Walker. And the Rangers. Management, Walter Smith and Graham Finnis must be a little bit concerned by the events of this second half. They may well be thinking about changing the pattern of play. The domination of the first half not quite matched in the second period when Wallow well, competed much better. And there's the first evidence of that concern. John Brown goes off, and the replacement is Ian McCall, former and former athletic player. some reorganisation of the Rangers ranks because Ian McCall has taken up a position on the right side of their midfield and the switch is moving Ian Ferguson into a central position alongside Kevin Brinkle with Walters going wider on the left and Russell to Wishart impeded there by Munro right at the corner of the box Al Fraser Wishart certainly enjoying the match to the full. He only scored once in the whole of last season after scoring four times the previous season, which really isn't bad going for fullback. But his first of the season coming at an opportune moment for Motherwell. And they have a free kick right in the corner of the box, taken by Kinnaird. And it's an own goal! And it's Richard Goff who's given Motherwell the lead. 14 minutes into the second half. It's an excellent free kick. The Rangers defence caught in several lines. Goff trying to head it to the corner. Not to pass. Nicky Walker and Mother will take the lead. Richard Goff with an own goal. Here's Dave McCabe. Russell inside the wish up. Free kick against Wilkins, obstruction on Wishart. Oh, Fraser Wishart really cannot get into attacking positions often enough. Causing problems every time. He comes forward, Craig Patterson, Chris McCart, numbers four and six, going into the box from Motherwell. Led in by Kinnear, there's McCabe! Dave McCabe for Motherwell! The goal is chopped off! It's being chopped off, but offside. Played in by Kinnaird. Well, it wasn't Dave McCabe who was offside. It was Chris McCart who was penalised. And what a let-off that is for Rangers. McCart's header. Danny Stevens. That straight to McAdam. Eugene McCall. Stephen goes ahead to make a decoy. Prinkle. Derek Ferguson reacted well. Here's McCall again with Gary Stevens on the outside. Maxwell full stretch. And a fine piece of goalkeeping by the young keeper. Good build up this from Rangers. McCall to Stevens on the run with a first time cross. Maxwell had to take that cleanly and he did so under pressure. Wrinkle getting it back to Stevens. That's towards Ian Ferguson. A free kick's been given. The whistle could scarcely be heard, and the battle of Craig Patterson clearly furious with that decision. Feels he was being backed into as he jumped to play the ball. But this is a golden opportunity for Rangers. Alistair Maxwell knows that all right in the Motherwell goal. Mark Walters will be involved, Ray Wilkins will direct traffic. Ian McCall also has some expertise in his left foot in this position. 
Walters takes it. And it'll be taken again. There was encroachment by the Millwall wall. Advanced too quickly before the shot was taken. So Millwall have to defend again against this set piece from Rangers. Will it be Walters this time or may he leave this? What a superb effort this was from Mark Walters. Angling it in under the crossbar, and it's Maxwell at full stretch to save the day for the ball. And something has happened off the ball. There's a Motherwell player on the ground. Now, what happened here is not at all clear, but it's Tom Boyd who's down. The referee didn't appear to see anything in this. He's going to have a war with a police officer. There was something thrown on. But no question of there being an incident involving any other player, as far as the referee is concerned. Boyd is back in his feet, and it's Derek Ferguson with the corner kick. Well, he will survive again. It's Boyd's clearance into space. And Butcher going up. This is McCall. Good play by Derek Ferguson. Butcher now to McCall. Followed across by Boyd. What a tussle they're having out there. Boyd and McCall. Still ranging in position though with Butcher. McCall had another chance to take on Boyd. Fine cross, but Patterson's there. There's Ray Wilkins and Goff. Linking with Derek Ferguson, and a chance for Ferguson! Ian Ferguson with a first time effort. Now when we see this again, you'll see how much space and time Ian Ferguson had. He could have controlled the ball and gone forward, but snatched that in the half volley. The offside flag halts Paul Kinnaird. So inside the last five minutes now. No defence knows they will have to battle for the last possible second. Up goes McAdam with golf, it's back to Butcher! Anguish for the Rangers skipper. Goff's presence in the box again important. And he goes up there with McAdam as a wicket header out, and there was Butcher. The shot goes well over. Inside is Russell. Fine play from Russell. Scarcely wasted a pass this afternoon. Now Kinnaird coming in from the right. Trying to find McBride in the middle, but Wilkins was back to defend. And here's Ian Ferguson now with some more space. The Rangers to exploit an attack. Walter staying deep on the right. Going at Fraser Wishart. Cohen couldn't reach it. There's Ferguson. A golden opportunity for Ian Ferguson. Walters put it in. Cohen lost his footing. There was Ian Ferguson. Put off though by Chris McCart. Chris McCart lofts it forward. As Wilkins and Ferguson together. There are just two minutes remaining. Cowan plays it forward. There's McBride from Millerwell. One and one with Butcher. Butcher will be in trouble. No doubt about that. A professional foul by the Rangers captain in sensing the Millerwell players. Well, Terry Butcher has no complaint at all about being in this kind of trouble. So it was Martin McBride who was clear after Cowan played it into space. Butcher was McBride. McBride played it past the Rangers defender, then was taken out of the play. 90 minutes on up, we're into time, added on for stoppages in a hectic second half. Can Motherwell hold on? Battling for all they know to get the equaliser. It's 
Cowan. Back to Wilkins. It's deflected and Maxwell comes across. Is there a goal kick all right? This Canaled with Munro and there goes the final whistle. The league leaders are beaten. Motherwell are the winners by two goals to one. Alistair Maxwell, a hero in goal for Motherwell. Motherwell fans have seldom enjoyed an occasion. And certainly haven't enjoyed one for such a long time. Fraser Wishart with the key man, the equaliser, and then making the move for the free kick, which resulted in Richard Goff's own goal. The Motherwell fans will celebrate long into the night.